Hello everyone, welcome to App Unbox. Today we are going to review Zeta IO, which is a really helpful app. This app will help you organize your workspace better. And also it will set up your features within your workspace. All right, let's head into Zeta IO. Give it a few moments to load. And then we're going to log into our account. All right, we are inside the Zeta IO dashboard now. So we are at the homepage and as you can see, you can collect and manage your feedback from here. You can add feedbacks and after that you can discover products and customer insights, learn about insights. As you can see, you can learn about your customer and product insights. All right, I haven't input any data in here yet, but you can understand the whole application by using their demo data. As you can see, I've turned on their demo data and that's why I was getting those graphs. So if you turn on demo data, you can also get to know how these app interfaces work. So product insights done. Now let's move on. After that, we have tracking product, strategy planning, and then we have team members, workspace team, and we can also create plan from here. So we are just going to navigate through our side panel at the moment. Uh, first of all, we have product insights, last seven days, last 30 days, or last 90 days insights will be brought in front of you so that you can get your insights. And after that, you can, and scrolling down, we have trending insights where you can view all your products and customers, their category, number of feedback, customer segments, revenue, revenue impacted, and companies. And after scrolling more down, we have insights based on customer segments. We have enterprise 60 insights, made a market 90 insights, power users 30 insights. So that's how you can input your data and get insights accordingly. So going to the next option on our side control panel, we have feedbacks. Well, you can give feedbacks depending on your reports here. Simple bug report for repeated session expiry. Well, as you can see, we can give our feedback here. I'm being repeatedly logged out of the application after approximately 10 minutes. As you can see, we have this type of bug and then, well, that's the feedback actually. You can add more feedback from here, add title. We're going to add title. Let's go test title. And then we are going to select type. What type of feedback is this? Well, we have feedback. Okay. Company. Well, we're going to select simple or a. Then we're going to select our contact information, simple contact us, which is already made here. And then we're going to add feedback. As you can see, our feedback has been added here. Now let's go ahead and select this one. No description has been added here. We can add description if necessary. So guys, that's how we can add feedback in our project or add any bug reported or add any bugs that we have reported in ZIO. So after that, we have third menu, which is features. So after going to features here, we have lots of features here, simple unplanned feature, then simple feature to fix bugs, and then sample tasks, sample feature with feedback limited. And we can also set their status here. And we can get our links, tickets, the roadmap, feedback, documents, etc. here. And then we have status which we can which we can set to to do. It's in progress or completed. Tasks that are currently being done will be in progress. Tasks that we have to do will be a to-do list. And tasks that are completed will be completed. And we can set duration. We can choose a duration of the project here. Well, I'm just going to side scroll. Well, I think this is a really inconvenient thing that I'm having to side scroll here. Well, for those who don't have a side scroll button, you can hold down your shift key and, and then scroll with your mouse up and down scroll wheel to scroll. So I'm just going to do that here. Well, you can select importance of your task here, low, medium, or high. Then we have creator, created that, and product. Which, well, we only have demo product at the moment, so all the products will be demo product. Now let's go ahead and create another feature. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a task here. So creating a task, we're going to name it test. And then we're going to select task again here. Well, I'm going to set importance to medium here. And then we're going to select product again, demo product assigned to myself okay and then we're going to select start date and then end date okay start date will be 2 end date will be 11 okay that sounds lovely and now we have text well text is also going to be test so let's create as you can see our to-do list is here already and we can also change the status accordingly when we are working on it so moving on to the next option here which is documents 
Well, as you can see, guys, we have a lot of documents here. Sample, one pager, sample PRD, sample GTM, and sample strategy. Well, we can duplicate, delete documents from here, or we can add new documents if necessary to our project. Well, so let's go ahead and try adding a document here. We can import, well, we can add a blank document. Well, we can import from Google Docs. We can add PRD template, product strategy, GTM plan, one pager. Alright, so we're going to create a blank document at the moment. So let's go ahead and select create document. Well, this one's going to be untitled. So let's just go ahead and give this document a title. Uh, I can't seem to rename it. But as you can see, that's how we're going to rename it. Test. Voila. And then we're going to write something for our document. As you can see, our test document is ready at the moment. And I think we can add more documents on the category of this text. So let's try it. Plus blank document create. Um, yes, we can add more documents under the subcategory of text. Well, then after going to the subcategory, well, let's go ahead and rename this just to. And now we can add even more to the subcategory of the subcategory. Let's go create another blank document. As you can see, First we have created test 2 on subcategory of test and then another one test 3 on the subcategory of test 2. So it is really convenient if, and your document will have good tree connection to one another. Which is really convenient and you will find your documents very easily with this method. Now moving into roadmaps, we have our roadmap of the project that is being done or being handled by ourselves or any other team member of our company. So. First we have a simple roadmap, we're going to explore this. We have to do in progress, and well that's the roadmap. Something is in to do, something is going to be working in progress, and what's done. We can review our entire roadmaps from these options here. And we have roadmap title. Well, I'm going to go ahead and create another roadmap just to show you guys how it really actually works. Okay, we're going to select the test, and we have three type of roadmaps, which is really convenient because nowadays we get only list and board, but this time we have timeline. So what I'm going to do is select private, not workspace. So private, timeline, test, and then select features. All right, we have those tasks that we have added earlier. So we're going to select uh, FT5, FT2, and FT4. Let's go and create roadmap. And roadmap test has been created with those tasks. Now I can manage and control my roadmaps. All right, guys, I can't seem to find my roadmap. Well, let me search for it. On the bottom side, whichever roadmap you create will be found here. And as you can see, this sample roadmap is in workspace mode. So, so everyone in your workspace or working with you will be able to view it. This roadmap is private, which is only managed by you. And then we have another test roadmap, which I also created private. So this can also be viewed by me and no other members of our company. So if you have a roadmap that only you should do, which is top secret or something, then you, should, uh, then you should create a roadmap that's private and not visible by other members of your company. So then we have strategy plan. We can create a strategy plan. Well, we already have a sample strategy plan here. So I'm going to just click on it and see how the strategy plan works. We have title and then start target, assumptions, achieved status, and assignee. Well, whoever will be assigned to this project. That's how I guess. Yeah, that's right. Then we have due date, then we have linked features, and I guess no scrolling here. All right, so we have sample strategy plan to achieve within three months. Well, well, we have three months of strategy plan right here, which is done by the sample, which is done as a sample by ZIO. So I'm gonna go ahead and create another plan here. All right, my plan name is gonna be test. Add timeline to my plan. All right, my timeline will be from June 1 to Let's say I'm going to also select two months, right? All right, so June and July, we have two months. So let's create a plan for two months and see how it goes. All right, uh, plan has been created. Now we should create goals inside of it. This is also going to be test. And with matrix, no matrix. All right, so I'm going to select no matrix. Select assignee. Well, I'm going to assign myself here. Well, tags. All right. So as you can see, we have another... We have a task which is assigned to someone in two months that should be done in two months. We can create more initiatives here. 
test 2, I'm going to rename it. Well, description can also be placed here, and then we're going to do it with matrix. All right, so you're going to have to get me $40, buddy. Now, matrix start value will start value from 10, and we, we are, our target value will be 40. Now we're going to assign someone here, so after assigning, we're going to give them a due date. Of course, due date should be before August 1, I guess. So what if I do August 5, then what happens? Then we're going to select a tag, and then we're going to create. So as you can see guys, that's how you can create your plan, so two months, three months, or any timetable you want, and you can assign your team members to do the task just, just as you want them to. After release note guys, we have customers where we can manage our customers or the, the company that we are do, doing business with. As you can see here, we have sample organization B, sample organization B, and sample organization A. So how much revenue we've got from this company or this company will be here. How many contacts have we done and when was our agreement created with this company. And we have contacts this year as you can see. Sample contact, sample contact S, P, Q and R. Well, source will be, source will be from dashboard, alright. So here is the company, domain, segment, contacts created at and revenue sources. We can add new company from here if necessary though. So we're going to add another company which is going to be test and then name going to be oh so it's going to be domain test.io right now company name will be test so we're going to add a company all right tests.io is here and we can we have no contract with them and as you can see this contact was created here at june 3 so uh, we have our date here and no revenue was generated so it's zero Alright guys, so that explains all the side panel tasks available in Zeta.io. Now what we're going to do is explore the workspace settings. As you can see, we have lots of options in the workspace settings too. We can create custom portal, widget, feedback, form, and then create custom field in feedback, manage default field in features, etc. Create prioritization in features. So as you can see, workspace is quite colorful here. And we can also connect to our tools if necessary, like Slack, Zira, Zapier, etc. Then you can learn to migrate your data. As you can see, we have Google Docs to dashboard. We have CSV to dashboard. Then we have Zira to dashboard. All right, now we're going to go to our profile and see that what's in here. Though, so we have notification settings. We can uh, get email for marketing activity here. We can delete our account if necessary, as you can see. Oh, no, we can't delete our account if necessary. We will have to contact help at zeta.io. So nothing's here in profile. Let's go and edit. We can only edit our first name and last name, nothing else. So no password changing here, actually. Okay, so we can unsubscribe to zeta.io marketing emails. Well, I'm not going to subscribe to the emails at the moment. So guys, that is all you have to know about Zeta.io and the entire app. It's a really helpful app. So if you need it to manage your workspace and your colleagues, you want to do collaboration work with your teammates, then this application is of great help. And if this video was of great help to you, then please do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great app unbox videos.